Hello everybody, welcome again. So glad you could stop by today. We're in our little studio here today and Jim's doing a great job of filming us as he always does. And we're just enjoying the heck out of it. We're doing something a little different for you today. And come over to the board and we'll tell you a little bit about it. If you've been watching it, great. If you haven't, we'll try to bring you up to date. What we've done, we've, Ruthie uh, collects shelves now, so we drew this out, and then after we drew it, we went and took a black magic marker and went around it. It's just something that we made up in our head, and all of this stuff on here is just made up, and the big feet and everything, but anyhow. Uh, and then we painted the background, uh, and then started bringing out the uh, colors in the shelves. Now, we've got a long way to go yet, and a short time to get there, so let me just go ahead and start. I've, I've got some colors here that I've added, but I want to take a little bit of it out. So I'm going to take a little bit of white here. Yeah. Now, same thing up at the top here in his little hat. I like that, but I didn't want quite that much in there, so I'm going to take a little of it out. About like that. And then I'm going to go back, get me a little white. Now sometimes when you're doing the wet on wet, it's a little hard to put the light back in. And you have to wait till it dries a little bit. But we pretty well got it. Now that's the one thing I wanted to clean up, but there's another thing I wanted to do here. I've got a, uh, a big turkey laying here, but I want to make it a little bit darker on the bottom. And the reason I'm doing that is to make it stand out a little more. And I'm I actually, I didn't tell you what I'm doing. I'm, I'm just taking some Van Dyke Brown, straight Van Dyke Brown, and rubbing it on here. I'm trying to get it behind these little green things. And under his little leg there. I wanted to do that to get a little, little more contrast on the plate. And if you notice, that helped it quite a bit. And another thing I want to do here, I, I, we've got an outline here in a minute, but we've got to paint his hair too. I, I think his hair will be black, and uh, I'll show you the colors that you shatter black with. You shatter black with, with a tan brown or a blue, but anyhow, we'll, we'll get into that just in a minute. But first of all, let me wash my little brush out. I want to go in here and actually mix up a little bit. So I grab a little of that green. I've got so many spots here, I don't know where to mix it at. I want a real pretty bright green. I think that's what I want right there. Let's try it. Now this, there again, uh, it may not work too good. I may have to let the painting dry a little bit. But there's one thing you can try to remember. You can always put thin color over thick color. Always. So I'm going to thin that a little bit and see if it spots a little better. And it's not quite as light as I want it, so I'm going to steal some white from somewhere right here. I'm 
Let's see if that helps. Yeah. Now what we're doing is touching the outer edge of some of these. to give it that extra little highlight. And some color back in there wouldn't hurt. Now we've just added a little bit here and there and everywhere. I'm going to brush that real, real good. And next thing we're going to do, we're going to do the hair. Now black is not always black, black. There's a lot of different colors black, believe it or not. <laughs> but what we usually use is a Payne's Gray. Nothing wrong with black. Use it if, if you have it and you want it. I'm just going to rub his a little higher in there a little bit with this black. All paints gray. Now, you could leave it solid that way if you wanted to. I'm going to put just a, maybe a touch or two of highlights in it. And like I say, you could use brown, but what I'm going to use probably is this blue. And that gives you sort of a highlight. Now, it would probably be a lot easier at this point in time if you waited till it completely dried and then outlined everything. However, we're not going to do that. We're going to start doing some outline. And I'm going to turn this around a little bit because I'm going to use my paint's gray a lot here. I'm going to mix it up a little thin. Now what I might do on his face I may outline it a little bit different.
And I like that black outline around the outside edge. But i tell you what I'm going to do inside the face and maybe just around it a little bit. I'm going to use another color. And then we can come back if we want to and use a darker color. I'm hoping that this right here will be the color. Now I'm using, actually I'm using some of the color I already had mixed up over there in Van Dyke Brown. Now I may want to add a little red to that, but let's try a little of that and just see how it looks. Now I probably will change brushes here in a minute and I'll show you why. You have to keep the color sort of thin or you can't outline real well with it. Okay, now watch this. Now the reason I'm using brown in here, I, I don't want to I don't want it to stand out quite as much as this. I, but I may go back in here and I'm going to use some black somewhere in here and I'll show you in a minute. Like I say, this is a cartoon, so I'm not not blending this. I'm actually just making a solid line. Now, I could put a little, let me see if I can do that. Now the bottom lip is usually lighter than the top lip, if you can remember that. Let's see if I can get a little of this color. Now, I probably, at this point now, on the outside of his head, I want to use the Payne's Gray or black if, if you don't have Payne's Gray. Black will do just as well.
Let me see if I can, I want to show you another brush here. I believe I want the other one. Now I rinsed it out real good. I want to show you this brush. This is a liner brush. If you notice, most brushes I hires are just maybe a, not over half an inch. This is a good inch, maybe a little better than an inch, the bristles are. Now, what that does, I'll show you. Matter of fact, I may show you right here on the palette before I get over there. It does two things. It holds a lot more paint. It also, I don't know if you can, let me just do it on this here. It holds a lot more paint and you see that it gives you a truer line. It's a good, they call it a liner brush, but it's a good, out, I call it an outline brush. You can outline letters or, or people or whatever with it. And it also holds its shape really well. In other words, if you're pulling the line, it won't get really, really thick on you unless you want it to. And as you lay it down, it actually gets thicker. I'm going to put a little dark right in here. And you can do a lot finer line with this one also. I'm just using the, the tip of it right there. Some of them it takes a little practice with, but you, you can learn it in no time. Just now that I, I don't I don't know if you can see that, but it's sort of smeared out a little bit. I must have had to, a lot of linseed oil in that area. But that's no problem. We'll come back. I'll show you how we'll fix that. But you can pull a line anywhere you need it like that. And I was going to pull these little things, but they're so clear, I'm not going to bother pulling those.
I'm trying to actually just clean everything up now. And that looks a lot better. Anyhow, I think you would enjoy this little liner brush. It probably would. Uh, make your painting look a lot better. I'm going to have to get a little bit more color. And you have to keep it thin, almost like ink. And I'm just mixing up. This paint's gray, by the way, again. I like it a little bit better than black. It's just a matter of preference, though. Okay, now I'm, I've got a little white to touch up. Let me do that right now. And I want to blend a little more color into my background, if I can. I'll lay that brush right there. I'm, I'm going to pick this little one back up, the little short hard one. I want to get some white, so let me turn this around. Get that cleaned off a little bit. Maybe right there. Yeah. This white sometimes, again, you have to let it uh, dry in order to give it a second coat. But I've got a few places I want to touch up, so I think I can do it. Yeah, that looked, worked pretty good. Yeah, that's, that's working. And right down here. Yeah. Work perfect. Right up here. I'm just touching little spots that I can see. That's all right. And, and there'll be some uh, black outline that I'll need to touch up. Okay. Oh, we're running out of time, aren't we? I'm going to try to hurry here. Normally the nose has got a little highlight on it. Sometimes a little eyelashes or eyebrows have. See, I put a little line there. And usually the bottom lip. Now, if you get it too much, it'll look like a tooth down here. So. We don't want no tooth. But see that that added to it. And then if you want to separate the ear a little bit. And 
and a highlight on the chin. All right. If I have time, I want to touch up the... I'm trying to get this little area here that... I think that's about got it. And I wanted to put just a little bit more highlight here. Make his shoes real shiny, okay? <laughs> okay, I've got a spot right there I need to touch up. We're about to get it. While I got my white, i got another spot I just happened to see. All right, I believe. That's about got it. That, not that. This one. I'm gonna put a couple of highlights in my turkey, okay? A little bit on the leg. You know what? We're going to have a finished painting here any minute. Let's see if I got just a little, little bit of time. I don't know if I got much time or not. I want to add a little interest back here, something that will bring your eye into the towards the shelf. Not no big deal, just something you can do. And very little down here. Okay. All right, man, we about got it. Yeah, spot right there I missed. Don't want to miss any. All right. Wow, you know, we're cutting it close. <laughs> All right. I think we'll call that a finished picture for the day. We hope you've enjoyed this series, and if you do, come back next week and be with us. We'll start something else. And we've got a big project. Maybe next week we'll talk about it. Goodbye, and God bless, and thanks again.